I'm Nick Foster. I'm doing a project looking at the distribution of small mammals in this really diverse environment. We've got a wide range of invasive mammals out here. We've got cats, ferrets, stoats, weasels, hedgehogs, possums, rats, mice, uh, almost the whole suite, unfortunately. I'm using raw rabbit today and the animal will come in, give it a sniff and try to eat it and its body temperature will actually trigger this camera to take some images of it. The camera is for recording the presence or absence of different pest species. A big component in Nick's work is testing how good a barrier our mountain ranges are because that's pivotal to our success. We need to understand how high species are, how dense they are at high altitude and then how we can control them. Working in the mountains there are some sort of Putin and Holleran moments <laughs> but for the most part it, yeah, it's quite hard work. <laughs> There's no such thing as a typical day. We could be setting camera traps, tracking tunnels, putting out chew cards, just working our way along an altitudinal gradient, or we could be checking live traps and like trying to get animals to put transmitters on. European hares present problems for quite sensitive vegetation communities and they support populations of predators just as a, a prey resource particularly in the alpine zones, really quite novel information. First we have to get the hair. So we've had the help of some great local people, Johnny Wheeler, Mark Pridham, Laurie Prouding, uh, and they have worked out a way to um, projectile net hairs um, out of helicopters, which is quite exciting. They spot one, they net it, quickly capture it and put it in a, a bag so that it can't see what's going on fly it down to us and we quickly anaesthetise it and do what we need to do, attach the collar, measure its weight, all that sort of stuff. Then we take it out from the anaesthesia, uh, give it back to the guys and they release it exactly where they spotted it in the hairs, uh, wondering if it had all really happened or if it's just a bad dream. I'm just checking this little gully for uh, some hairs. So the collars are scheduled to come on um, once every couple of weeks and hopefully that lines up with a weather window for me. I walk up um, often with some overnight gear, um, track the hairs down and remotely get their data back so I can incrementally see what they've been doing and where they've been going. The alpine zone has a lot of challenges for a, a small mammal. Um, there's a lot less vegetation, the temperature extremes are a lot harder to deal with. And so far we've found that for all of these species that there are altitudinal limits. I was particularly surprised to find hedgehogs above 1900 metres. It's bizarre to see a little spiky hedgehog up in these golden tussock plains. They just don't belong there. Definitely have to take a moment here and there to appreciate working in such an amazing place. I couldn't have dreamed up a better project. I'm very, very fortunate to be working in this environment, doing this sort of work. <laughs>